got you. It's October and that means this month is Halloween and you, you my friend, need to be prepared but that's why I'm here. I'm gonna teach you how to create this awesome looking animation. These are 2D pictures but we're gonna turn them into kind of like 3D. So I found a picture of a pumpkin house in the woods and also one of a pumpkin man. We wanna place this guy in front of the pumpkin house. To do that, drag your pictures into your premiere and put the pumpkin man above the house. Then select it and go to the effects controls. Head over to the opacity and click on the pen tool. Now draw a mask around him, but be really, really careful and precise. And precise. <laughs> if you want this effect to work, you need to mask it out perfectly. And yes, if you are familiar with Photoshop, you could use that as well. That might be a little bit easier. I don't know. Anyways, once the background is gone, use the scale and position property to adjust it to your liking. Now, what's the first thing that stands out? Of course, the colors don't match. Now, to fix that, go to the window menu on top and open up the Lumetri color panel. First, we want to take out some color, and to do that, simply turn down the saturation slider. We also want to make the shadows a bit darker, so simply turn them down too. A decreasing the whites will also make it a bit darker and this helps to blend it even better. As you can see the background has a lot of blue shadows into it so that means our pumpkin guy also needs some blue. Expand the color wheels and match tab and push a little bit of blue slash cyan into the shadows. You can play around with the exposure furthermore to match the image. Ah wait the feet of this guy look terrible. We should hide them with something. All right duplicate the background by holding down alt and dragging it above everything. Then again head over to opacity and click Click the pen tool. This time, draw a rough mask around the bushes in front of his feet, and when you're done, increase the feather. Now you can reposition the pumpkin to your liking, and man, I'm glad his feet are gone. Now, you know what would be cool if his eyes were flickering? Now, to do that, head over to the Lumetri color in the effects controls and expand the HSL tab. Click on the color picker next to set color and click on the eyes of the pumpkin. Expand the saturation and luma to make the selection bigger. Now, with this slider, you can increase or decrease the exposure. You can already see where we're going with this. Move your play hat to the beginning of the video and set a keyframe. Then move one frame further and increase the exposure. Keep doing that for as long as you want the eyes to flicker. And yes, of course, you can copy and paste keyframes. Oh, and you could do the same thing with the sky, by the way. Simply select the sky with the color picker and adjust the selection. Now, it's good to leave a little bit of spill on the roof of the pumpkin house because the sky is reflecting off to it. Again, animate the exposure slider to make the sky light up and that looks beautiful. Or scary, I should say scary and not beautiful. Next, we're gonna blend everything together with some smoke assets and I actually found one on Storyblocks, a sponsor for today's video. Now they have this brand new plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro which allows you to look for stock assets without even leaving Premiere. Simply type in whatever you need and boom! You can hoover over to the thumbnails to see a preview, it goes super smooth. Simply click the download button and your file will be in your project window in no time. So everything stays super organized and you're no longer missing media files or whatever. Alright, drag it between the foreground and the rest of the clips. Then head over to the effects controls and set the blend mode to screen. Turn down the opacity until it blends perfectly together and that looks amazing. I mean, that looks scary. But did you guys even know what this means? This means that you can download more than 1 million royalty free high quality stock assets right inside that little window right there. This will minimize disruptions like downloading and dragging your files into folders. I mean, we're done with that. Now you have time for what's most important and that is to create. By using the Storyblocks plugin, you can make create creative decisions faster because you don't have to download from a browser anymore. I mean, who doesn't want to have more time as a creative? Downloading green screen videos, animated backgrounds, even music and sound effects is so much more easier than ever before and all of that in HD or 4K resolution. And the library keeps expanding with community driven video assets so you will always find something new to spice up your content. Definitely check it out guys, I've been using it for many years now, I mean not the plugin that is new but just Storyblocks in general. I mean it's been amazing to my video work so I can definitely recommend it to any Anyone. If you want to level up your content with a Storyblocks subscription, definitely click the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics. All right, now let's go back to the pumpkin man. All right, this looks really cool and all, but it doesn't really feel like it's alive yet. We're gonna use the basic 3D effect for that. Drop it onto the background and head over to the effects controls. If you decrease the swivel property, the image will turn to the left. If you increase it, it will turn to the right. So move your playhead to the beginning and set a keyframe. Decrease the swivel and then go to the end of your video. Now move the image to the other side by just increasing it. As you can see, these black parts appear. To remove them, simply scale up the video until they're gone. 
Oh, before we forget, we also need the basic 3D effect on the foreground of the video. So simply copy the effect from the background and paste it onto the foreground. Then also scale the video up so that we don't see the edges. And since we're zoomed in, you can also animate the position property from left to right to create an even more parallax movement. And now our little pumpkin guy needs to come to life, don't you think? Well, you can simply do that by animating its rotation. First, you need to make sure that the anchor point is set to the bottom of his body. Then adjust the position again and move the play hats to the beginning. Set it rotation keyframe and move a little bit forward. Then change the rotation, move a little bit forward. Again, and just keep doing that same thing until you're at the end of the video again. Yes, you can copy and paste keyframes. Now you can leave the keyframes at linear because you know these harsh movements will make it even more creepy. <laughs> Holy shit, that was scary. Just kidding, guys. I can't believe that we did all of this with just a few pictures. Now, I am really curious what you guys would create. So if you would post it on social media, definitely tag us on Instagram. That's going to be cinecon.crew. Link is in the description down below. And if we see something cool, yes, we'll reshare it to our stories. Now, if you want to learn how to make an epic sky replacement, then definitely check out the video here on my left. And don't forget to hit that like button if you learned something new today. Thank you, StoryBlocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative.